This video is sponsored by Instant Gaming. Get cheap game time as well as other workout products at affordable prices. Click the link in the description below to check it out. Hello guys, this is Doron's Movies, and today I'll be talking about Malfurion Stormrage and how powerful he is. Going through his history very briefly and then covering his abilities. So without further ado, let's get into the lore. Malfurion grew up in Suramar together with his twin brother Illidan. He was the first druid of the demigod Cenarius and the oldest mortal practitioner. Stormrage was one of the first to realize that their queen Ashara started becoming more secretive. He also saw a vision in the Emerald Dream that the night elven use of magic would lead them to destruction. Soon enough this turned out to be true and the war of the ancients had begun. Malfurion was one of the leaders of the resistance and possibly the most important figure of the entire war. Realizing that the only way to get rid of the legion for good was to destroy the world of eternity, this would cause a massive change in the history of Azeroth. After the event known as the Sundering, the continents we have today were formed, Ashara and her followers were defeated and the burning legion was vanquished. Now, as the threat was over, the Arch Druid would become the new leader of the Night Elves. Subsequently, he would banish the most magic users, the Highborn, and promote Druidism, making it a key component of their culture. From that point forth, Malfurion would then venture into the Emerald Dream to serve nature, while his partner Tiranda would lead. For almost 10,000 years, with minor breaks, Stormrage hibernated. With the second Burning Legion invasion some 20 years back, Malfurion was once again awoken. After many battles, the Shando would play possibly the most important role in the Third War. Luring Archimonde into Nordrasil, the World Tree exploded, destroying the demon as well as putting an end to the invasion. From that point forth, the Night Elves would once again start rebuilding. Then there would be many troubles with Malfurion being comatose due to the Emerald Nightmare issues and would only awaken prior to the Shattering. Becoming a co-ruler of the Night Elves, he would now not only lead his people but also greatly assist the world of Azeroth. Malfurion with his own power kept Darkshore together with a massive swirling vortex of air. He then stopped the Naga and the Twilight Hammer Thread, subsequently venturing into the Firelands, defeating the Elemental Lord Ragnaros. Now, during the Legion invasion, he would play a very important role in once again fighting the Emerald Nightmare, as well as helping Scenarius, Nature and us in the defeat of the Burning Legion. In Battle for Azeroth, the Arch Druid is a crucial figure in the new conflict. He led an army against the Horde invasion and even dueled Venok Saurfang, quickly defeating him. He would then fight against Sylvanas and the Horde forces, nearly killing the Warchief. Subsequently, Saurfang would heavily wound Malfurion, but in the end, sparing his life. After that conflict, the Arch Druid would recover in Stormwind and would now play a key role in the battle for Azeroth. So, with all this story, how powerful is Malfurion Stormrage exactly? Well, in my opinion, possibly one of the strongest entities currently on Azeroth. Not only is he over 10,000 years old, but there are just so, so many feats that the Arch Druid has accomplished, making him a seriously seasoned veteran. It is worth noting that Malfurion was taught directly by Cenarius and was the first Night Elven Druid. It was said that he learned everything there is to learn about Druidism and that not even the dragon aspects could teach him anything. This definitely makes sense as he had spent so many millennia within the Emerald Dream, connecting with the nature, becoming one of its greatest servants. The power that he possesses is unlike any other druid 
couldn't be alive. Malfurion played a massive part in the War of the Ancients. He struck down Hakkar the Houndmaster with a lightning storm, drowned an army, and then in the last battle casted a massive wind that ripped all demons from the ground and sent them on a one-way trip into the Well of Eternity. Then he participated in the actual destruction of the Well of Eternity, leading to the sundering, the defeat of Sergeras, as well as the change of the entire planet. A few thousand years later, he experimented with the feral worgen form, subsequently banning it and exiling druids that practiced it. Then, in the second Burning Leech invasion, he very easily rooted Illidan and, in the end, defeated Archimond by manipulating nature, spirits and the world tree to cause a massive explosion. Then, in the Emerald Nightmare, Malfurion defeated many foes and subsequently utilized the energy of the Material Plane and the Emerald Dream to cleanse Azeroth from the Nightmare, which was a massive, massive achievement. As Malfurion got back to regular life and the Cataclysm began, Darkshore was hit very hard. So the Druid got into the epicenter and using his power managed to contain the entire zone through a vortex, which in itself shows how ridiculously powerful Malfurion is. In Legion he helps us against corrupted scenarios, ultimately assisting in the defeat of the Nightmare once again and the Burning Legion. Now in Battle for Azeroth we have seen his power firsthand. He easily deals with Saurfang, rooting him, then blinds Sylvanas and her forces with Sunfire. Later he duels against Sylvanas and nearly kills her only to be struck in the back by Saurfang. This led him closest to death than he ever was, but in the end the orc spares him as he saw what he did as a dishonorable act. Still in a nature setting, Malfurion is nearing demigod strength. He is the strongest druid on Azeroth and the oldest one as well and he has immense power at his disposal as nature is all around. He can summon thunderstorms, hurricanes, root enemies, summon treants, drown enemies, instantly grow trees to spike their foes and various other abilities. It is without a doubt that Malfurion Stormage is not only one of the strongest members of the alliance but one of the strongest mortals on the entirety of Azeroth. Alright and that is all I have for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps out and keeps the channel going. Thanks all for watching this video and see you next time.